This is a video for AQA Further Pure Mathematics, Vectors Section 5.4, the area of a triangle using the vector product. You will have met in work on trigonometry the idea that the area of a triangle can be found by half of the length of the sides multiplied together and then sine of the angle between them. So this would be theta, where we're looking at the length of AB and AC. Now this can be expressed in terms of the vectors AB and AC and that becomes particularly useful if we're working in three dimensions. So we can say that the area is a half the length of the vector from A to B multiplied by the length of the vector from A to C and then sine of the angle between them as in this expression here. But that's very similar to the formula that we've got for AB cross AC which we know is the length of the vectors sine theta multiplied by n hat, where n hat is a unit vector in the direction of the vector product. So you can see that the difference between these is that we've got a half here. So therefore, we can say that the area of the triangle is equal to one half the size of the vector product between AB and AC. So that will be equal to the area of the triangle ABC. So an example of that, let's consider this triangle where we've got the coordinates of three points A, B and C. So we need first of all to calculate two vectors for the sides, so the vector from A to B would be the vector for B minus the vector for A, and that is 1, 2, negative 4, and AC similarly would be the vector for C minus the vector for A, which is 2, 3, negative 5. Therefore, we can calculate the vector product of AB with AC as being equal to the product 1, 2, negative 4, cross product with 2, 3, minus 5. You can either do that on a calculator or use the formulae that's in your formula sheet. And you should be able to show that that is equal to 2, minus 3, minus 1. Therefore, the size of that, AB cross AC, must be, by Pythagoras' theorem, equal to the square root of 2 squared plus negative 3 squared plus negative 1 squared, and that's equal to the square root of 14. And therefore, we can say that the area of the triangle is a half of that, so that must be 1 half multiplied by the square root of 14. Well that concludes this video on the area of a triangle and concludes the series of videos on the vector product.